Howdy y'all. Welcome back to Zen Outdoors. Today we are starting part five of our six and a half Creedmoor build. This will probably be the last part unless I do a follow-up of me shooting it or anything like that. If y'all are interested, please leave a comment below. But in this video, we are going to focus on the bolt carrier group, the charging handle, and then I'm gonna pull up a spreadsheet for y'all. Then I'm gonna take y'all through the pricing and show y'all how much I spend on each item, the total cost overall, maybe some tips, tricks, some mistakes I made to prevent y'all from making any mistakes as well. And then we'll wrap up and hopefully I'll take this guy out in a couple weeks and, and get to shoot him some. So I'll let y'all know how that goes. So on this one, I was really wanting to buy a Faxon barrel with a Faxon bolt carrier group. And I was gonna pay them, I think it was like 10 or 20 bucks to go ahead and headspace the barrel to the BCG. Um, however, finding a barrel and a BCG on Faxon's website, and they were both in stock at the same time, and you can buy them and do that, is just impossible right now. So I just bought the barrel, and then I've had great success with the Aero Precision BCGs. And so I went ahead and bought the 308 Nitride uh, BCG from Aero Precision. I've used their nickel boron. It's really nice. It's slick. Uh, but I was really wanting the nitride one for this specific build. So I went ahead and bought that. That was $195 uh, shipped to me. And then for the charging handle, I bought this Strike Industries. It's the red, uh, same red color as everything else. And I uh, heard pretty good things about it. So you know, that's the route I went there. So the Strike Industries charging handle is actually right around 47 bucks. Uh, a little more than I wanted to pay for a, a charging handle. I guess a lot of people have preferences on that. You can pay up to 100 bucks for one, but I know Aero Precision's basic one's relatively inexpensive if you want a budget option there. So here's your bolt carrier group and we can go ahead and get this installed. So this is pretty simple. So before I start doing that, one thing to note is it won't go in very well if this piece is right there. So you kind of have to twist and pull out like that so it's straight up. So to start, you'll start with your charging handle and you'll just, there's a little hook in here that you'll feel like that. I don't know if y'all heard that, but it comes up and then you're, you're in there pretty much. And so it's, it's in there pretty good. So you want to get it like that. So just so you see, again, you know, I, I kind of sit it right there on the roof and just start sliding it in. And you'll feel it click in and up and then keep sliding. And that is all you have to do for that. Then you'll take your bolt carrier group and you slide that in right under it. And you can push it in and they'll just go in together. Like that. So that's really all you have to do for your bolt carrier group. And so your bolt carrier group and charging handle are now installed. So I am actually going to pull my lower over here and we will put the whole gun together. So there you have it guys. This is my six and a half Creedmoor build. And we are all done. You can test the charging handle. Good to go there. So now we will dive into the cost and my Excel spreadsheet on all the parts I purchased, how much I paid for them, a total cost on it, and other than that, I think we're ready to go. Okay, so here I have my Excel spreadsheet that shows everything I purchased, what it cost, and then my total cost here at the bottom. So I'll just quickly go through this since we kind of already touched on everything. But for the upper, I bought an Aero Precision. I had a budget of $125, and I spent $103. That included tax, shipping, and handling. So I saved $21.40. So you can kind of see how the spreadsheet works here, so I'm not going to go through each line item like that. But the lower, I bought for $135. That was an Aero Lower Texas Edition. For all the lower parts here, if you buy a kit, you can just plug in the lower parts kit price there, but I bought these all separately. So the magazine catch and release was a Strike Industries, and I paid $20. Paid $15 for an Aero bolt catch. 
a hundred bucks for a LaRue trigger, about thirty dollars for the Timber Creek takedown pin set, about forty dollars for the Strike Industries safety selector, about ten bucks for the spring kit, about eighty-five dollars or so for the grip, fifty dollars for the buffer, buffer tube, and spring. I had to buy an extra buffer to tent and spring. That was that little uh, extra kit there that, that I had shown y'all. Um, the stock, I spent 200 bucks on that, that Magpul PRS Gen 3 stock. Uh, and then you get into the upper receiver parts kit. And you had the $30 dust shield from Strike Industries. You had the $24 Strike Industries forward assist. Spent about 400 bucks on that barrel, $283 on the handguard. The gas tube was part of the gas box. I didn't have a price there. Uh, spent 56 bucks on that Wagitech adjustable clamp on gas block. Around 200 on the BCG, 50 on the charging handle. And then as I mentioned, I got that Silencer Co. muzzle device on sale for right around 73 bucks. So you can see my total here. I had budgeted just under $2,000 and I spent 1890 so I saved about 90 bucks on my budget. Um, that does not include any optics, magazines, anything else. That was solely what y'all saw in this video. So I'll have to add on some optics and buy another magazine or two for that as well. I do think you can do some of this stuff cheaper than I have if you just stick with the aero parts kits and things like that. But again, I wanted to make this build catered to me and that's why some of these things are more expensive than what some people would pay for them. All right, guys, I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Again, this is only my third build, I think, my third one. Um, I really enjoy doing this. It's kind of expensive and time-consuming because, you know, I'm trying to make it as cheap as possible getting the parts that I want. Um, so it takes a little bit while, especially right now, to get all the parts you want at the price you want. But I really enjoy building these. I know I'm no expert at it and there's a lot more detail you can go into to making sure you're building a good gun. But for a beginner's guide, I hope this was super helpful. If you have any questions on this specific build or any questions on how I have built any of my guns, anything like that, feel free to drop a comment below or shoot me an email. My email address is in the description as well. I'm actually looking at doing a six and a half Grendel build next and I have some of those parts so if you're interested in an AR-15 build, uh, go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell notification, and you'll get an alert when I start posting some of those videos. Hope you all enjoyed this, and have a good weekend. Thanks, guys.